For a long time, I've talked about how WWE was going down the wrong path with Roman Reigns trying to make him their top babyface. Now, what they were doing wasn't working. And you can't make people feel sympathetic towards a guy that deserves zero sympathy. So you're going to have to do something vastly different in order to get the people to finally embrace him. Now, I'm thinking going down option A. Apparently, life has decided to take us down option C. Holy hell. That escalated quickly. We've all surely heard the news by now, right? That Roman Reigns came on Raw last night and announced to the world that 11 years ago, coming right out of Georgia Tech, he successfully battled leukemia. And that his leukemia is back. And he will have to take time away from the WWE in order to fight it and get treatment. <clears throat> and hopefully for his sake, get cured and bring his ass right back to WWE. So life has decided we're going to go with option cancer, huh? Of all the things that really truly goes in the, I didn't see that one. And all I have to say, Joe, is you did it once, and by God, you'll do it again. You're going to sit there and give that cock fist to cancer and bring your Samoan stud up and ass back to WWE as quickly as you freaking can. And we could talk about so many serious things, but the reality is I want to choose to put a positive spin on this meal. I know, believe me, it, it, it almost doesn't feel right. But when I think about this, this is such a huge opportunity for Roman Reigns, the WWE. Roman Reigns is now the ultimate in sympathetic figures. Roman Reigns is now the ultimate in terms of relatable people. Because to think about how many people even watching just this video, have either survived cancer themselves, had a friend, family member, coworker fight cancer and either survive or ultimately lose their battle with cancer. Cancer is something that has touched every single one of our lives in some way, shape or form at some point in time. That's just pretty much an accepted fact. Now, all of a sudden, you've got this young man, early 30s, husband, father, international TV star, if you want to look at it that way. Height of his power, top of his game, peak of his life, if you would say. Now he is battling leukemia. He has another fight against cancer. How can you hate that? How can you hate him? In one night, in one segment, in one promo on Raw, this is not hyperbole or over-exaggeration, this is just simple fact, Roman Reigns has now, just like that, instantly become the most relatable and likable of the WWE superstars. Beyond all of that, he has now become the top babyface in all of professional wrestling. What? You think somebody's a better babyface because they flip or they kick or they cut break promos or they do this or that? Roman Reigns is the ultimate in sympathetic picket figures. Because right now, people are rooting for him to live. Not even to wrestle. Just to be able to live. They want to see Roman Reigns live again. They want to see Roman Reigns continue to be able to be a husband and a father and a family member. How can you possibly hate that? And sometimes when opportunity knocks, it might not be in the way that we want, but we have to respond by kicking the motherfucking door down. I root for Roman. 
I wish Joe nothing but the best. You did it once, you're gonna do it again. Cock this the hell out of cancer, damn it! And when you come back, what a great ultimate redemption and comeback story we love in this country. To sit there, see people reach the top, even though we don't like people to be more successful than us. That we do everything we can to knock them down, so that way we have this weird, sick, sadistic thing of, well, we helped build you up, we wanted to show you who daddy was, and we knocked you back down, we're going to build you back up again. Man, you look at this, life is trying to knock him down. Life is trying to get in the way. The people are going to rally behind him. When he comes back, it's going to be incredible. It is going to be awesome. You will not have to worry about people booing him. You will not have to worry about people hating him because number one, they're just going to be thankful that he's fucking alive. Number two, they look at a guy like Roman and say, he's just like me. How could you possibly hate that? Daniel Bryan, whoever the hell else in professional wrestling, can be baby faces. But in one night, just like that, Roman Reigns instantly became the most relatable, likable person in wrestling. He is the, I mean, question, the number one babyface, not just in WWE, but the professional wrestling world at this moment. And when you think about the opportunity to come back and tell that redemption story and tell that I had it all and it lost it and now I'm trying to get it back. Those are the stories that people love. Those are the stories that make people feel good about themselves and their lives. That I can overcome my obstacles. I can deal with my hurdles and barriers and challenges. Roman Reigns has the potential when he beats leukemia, by God, he's going to! To go into true greatness land and be a role model, not only as a husband and a father, but just as a man. Good luck trying to boo that. Not the way you would want to do it. But this is arguably the greatest babyface turn in professional wrestling history. And again, I'm not trying to make light of it. I'm trying to see the light in the positive of all of this in a world that far too often makes too little damn sense. So many kids around the world that die because of this insidious disease called cancer. As people worry about taxes and fucking who's going to get health care coverage and this and that. And we sit there and fight these stupid wars over ego and oil and other commodities. We don't fight the wars that we should fight. Wars against poverty and more specifically, wars against insidious diseases like cancer. But Roman Reigns is going to fight. And Joe, by God, you're going to win. And when you do... I'll be rooting for your ass like the rest of them when you come the fuck back and take your place rightfully back atop the WWE food chain.